Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord Jesus. Welcome to my prayer closet. I'm really happy that you clicked the link to join me today. All week long, we are praying through what Jesus said. Amen. It's called What He Said Week. And today we are going to be praying that our light would shine before God. In fact, um, our memory verse for the week, if you're memorizing scripture along with me every week, is John 15, 7, which says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will and it shall be done for you. So that's our memory verse for the week. So thank you for joining me. If this is your very first time here, we pray We study God's word and we provide you tips to help you live your life victoriously. If you need prayer in your life, then join us. If you need a Bible study, join us. Or if you need periodic tips so you can um, live the victorious life, then I personally welcome you to click the subscribe button. And join us and YouTube will place my prayer videos in your feed and you can decide each day whether or not they are for you. To all of my sisters in the Lord who are already rocking with me, all 2,080 of you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I'm so happy that you're here. And for all of you, remember, you can connect with me on Instagram or Twitter. All of my information is below Uh, Just click uh, down there and uh, we can get uh, even more connected, okay? So, um, as I mentioned, we're going to be praying that we would, that uh, God's light would shine through us. And in fact, let me grab my Bible here because I actually want to read the entire passage where this comes from. It comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 uh, through 16, okay? Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 through 16. And um, I'm going to read this from the NIV. This is what our prayer is about today. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill, it cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and give and it gives light to everyone in the house. Here's uh, the meat and potatoes, everyone. Verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. Ladies, in essence, as believers... We should be different. The light of Christ should be shining through us. If your family is a drama family with a bunch of stuff going on, you shouldn't be in the mix of that. Your light should be shining. Uh, If there's a bunch of gossip on your job, is your light shining or are you participating? If people uh, you used to hang out with or family members are drinking and smoking and doing this and that, And you're just doing it with them. Is your light shining? Let your light shine before Christ. Let your love for people shine the light. Let your good deeds shine the light through you that amplifies the God we serve. He is holy, y'all. And it's an honor to be a representative of Jesus. So, ladies, I'm going to pray that everywhere you go and everything you do, that the light of Christ Jesus will shine brightly. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We lift up our hands. Hallelujah. And praise to your holy name, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you haven't forgotten us. We're your girls. And we're grateful that we have a personal and deep relationship with you. Now, Father God, we thank you that your light shines in us, Lord. 
And since your light shines in us, we can attract people to you. Father, we pray that we will not shine the light on ourselves, that we won't seek glory from man, but we want to be conduits by which people can be drawn to you. So, Father, I pray that these ladies will be bold in their witness. I pray that these ladies will be strong in their testimony. And I pray that these ladies will be the greatest servants that people know. Lord Jesus, if there's still things in their lives that's causing the light in them to be dim, then reveal it and remove it. So, Father, let these ladies' light shine so brightly, Father, that, Lord Jesus, the people will want to get saved. Their family members and friends will want to be delivered. The people on their job, the people around them, Lord, will see that there's something different in them. Lord, help us to put away selfish ambition and vain conceit, as your word says. Help us to have the purest of motives as our light shines, Lord. Father, I don't know exactly what areas in their lives that you want to shine through, but you do, Lord. And so as we lift up our hands, God, we want to be changed women. Father, use us for your glory. Use every single lady here for your glory, Lord. Not our glory. The, 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 the great John the Baptist said it so beautifully. And we want to ascribe to these great words. Let me decrease so that Christ may increase. Lord, increase in us. We don't want people to want more of us, but more of you as a result of your holy light. Help us to turn away from anything dark that's dragging us or attempting. And let us be a bright light in everybody's life, Lord, that comes in contact with us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. And while I was praying, the Holy Spirit... Um, just kind of gently um, drop this in my heart that for some of you, you've got to be a light um, in the midst of turmoil. That there's somebody who uh, is in a really difficult situation and, um, and it's relationally a very difficult situation and, and every day is hard. And uh, the Lord just impressed upon my heart, sister, uh, that he still wants you to be a bright, shining light. Don't let your circumstances dim the light of Christ Jesus. Don't let people dim the light of Christ Jesus in you. Follow Jesus harder when life gets harder. That's what he wants you to know. Ladies, thank you again so much for joining me. I'm so grateful. And remember, you can connect with me via one of those social media icons below. Or I'll just see y'all tomorrow. All righty. Y'all have a blessed day.